Good morning, guys. Uh, happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody out there in YouTube land and to the veterans. Uh, thank you for your service. Uh, let's flip this around and uh, we'll sit there and see. It's about 9.30, 9.40 and we're cruising up to 80 degrees at about 40% humidity. Uh, didn't make a video last weekend. Oh, I did start to. But uh, I made the patch down here, and I just didn't have my heart wasn't into it. And I knew my heart wasn't into it is when, uh, when I didn't turn the gas on when I first started welding it. So I had to grind those welds off and re-weld it on there. So hopefully uh, my heart, mind, and soul are all into this today because I'm going to finish patch welding that and grinding it down then finish patching this and start doing this uh, the wheel the outer wheelhouse all my welds are going to be on the outside because now I don't have to lay on my back and weld up like I'd had to do on the driver's side and when I'll end up doing is I'll end up dura glassing the inside and not welding the inside just keep welding the outside it's easier to do it right around in here and let's see I don't know if I told you but uh, uh, new quarter panels here and I decided I'm replacing the truck the taillight panel so I'm starting to gather tools for that I went to Matco online I got two new uh, spot weld chisels for the uh, air chisel so getting those ducks in a row if I get some more overtime at work I'll be able to afford the panel that was an expense I didn't have planned on so we'll get going on this as always uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll turn this back on when uh, I have more completed later hey guys well <clears throat> that piece is welded in done so now next piece we'll cut will be right along in here straight along and we'll have some trimming to do but we'll trim it to fit but it's going to go right in here and then once i get this in and welded we'll take care of the rocker panel tied into that and then we'll come back and we'll start the back and then the last will be the uh outer wheelhouse itself the lip itself so that's all i got for now as always Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. See, Ruben? See how the nice silver uh, Sharpie marks on the gray panel? They do make them silver. So, as always, thanks for watching. When I get more, I will uh, turn this back on later. Hey, guys. Okay, got the front portion of the uh, wheelhouse trimmed. About ready to weld in. And uh, we'll get that done and then we'll start on the, on the back. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll turn this on when I have some more. Later. Hey guys, I got that. Let's see the front section of the, uh, of the outer wheelhouse tacked in so I'm gonna leave that alone and let it uh, cool down and uh, start measuring up the cut for the back one here I got some sanding doing some cleaning up to do but we'll get that back one cut out and get that in tacked in and then I think I'm gonna call it a day wife just got home from work and we have to do shopping for the barbecue for our Memorial Day barbecue tomorrow, so I have enough time to do that. As always, thanks for watching. When I get more, I'll turn this back on later. Hey guys, got it marked out, and it's marked a little bit big. Coming along here, turn around, and take a look. You see, my cut is a good half inch down from the. Uh, 
from where this ra from where this radius or this flange for the inner wheelhouse to the outer wheelhouse comes in. I'm going to have to do some cleaning up in here and cleaning up in here. If anything, this piece will end up being trimmed down. I always cut them big, and I'll trim them down. Will be trimmed down to about here. Come and then maybe jump back up to here and go because remember we got to keep this all in line we're not making we're not fabbing up any of this so <clears throat> if we say we're about a half inch down from here it'll come up probably like this and then right about here I'll go in and then up depending upon where this corner is going to fit here so we'll clean this do some cleaning on this and get it on the inside and get it cleaned uh, break off the cutting wheel and cut this out and uh, get ready to weld it in as always thanks for watching and uh, when I have more I'll turn this back on later alright guys a little rethinking here my first plan of attack was the patch down here and turn around and patch here then turn around and, and cut the outer wheelhouse and section it in here I just sat there and I'm rethinking this I'm thinking maybe it'd be better if I sit put this in build the radius and then put the patch in the, the back in so I'm rethinking this I'm not too sure and if my first idea was the right way to go or the smart way to go but uh, yeah uh, so I'm thinking so I'm gonna stop for now I'm gonna think this out a little bit more before I start really cutting stuff up I was just getting ready to notch the tail part of the wheelhouse to fit in there in my measurements if my measurements were accurate but if they were off then I would end up with a gap end up with a gap going along here and I don't want I want this to be as pretty much as tight as I can get it so I'm gonna rethink this and uh, see if that's not the best way I think that that is the best way to do it is it's, it's the build the radius and then the last piece to come in would be the would be the, the tail the back end, end of it so off this I, I measured two inches off the, ra off the radius and cut so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and, and maybe cut that out maybe start clamping everything together before I get too far in this and take a look at it and see how it's all gonna fit so yeah and the wife was just out and she wants me to get cleaned up so we go to the store so as always, uh, thanks for watching. Again, happy Memorials Day, Memorial Day to uh, everybody out there in YouTube land. Again, to the veterans, thank you for your service. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day and a good three-day weekend. And uh, I'll pick this up next weekend once I think this thing through. Later.